some very short takeaways. I mean, I could probably spend the next hour talking about takeaways and advice that I have, but basically, I want to reiterate something I've said in the beginning. The first decision you make as a founder is the most important one. And this is actually a, a, a picture with a pretty funny anecdote. So, PG and I just arrived in the US, and uh, we wanted to do a helicopter tour in New York. So, PG took this picture and posted it on Facebook, like with the title, Looking for a New Office. Obviously, everybody knew it was a joke outside his mom. So his mom called him really angry and like, PJ, what the hell? Like, like <laughs> it's going to your head. Don't do this. But to reiterate, like, PJ is something I work with every day, like 12 to 14 hours a day. You share the good and the bad. And again, making that decision right is the starting point of success. If you make a wrong decision here, then very likely the company will be dead in a very short amount of time. It will only happen when you believe in it. And this is the self-fulfilling prophecy, something we've lived by day one. This really works in combination with thinking to a startup like a mountain to climb. If you look at it like phases, and we always believed you could get to the next level. And we never really were kept busy with, what are we going to do in four to five years? No, give yourself milestones, believe in it, give yourself tangible results to go after. And the more you believe it, the more it will happen. So that's something I still live by every day. I now have that vision in my head that we need to be a $100 million company in about two years, two years and a half. And the more I say it, the more I will say it to people, the more they will believe me. And that's when it actually happens. If you don't believe it, this will never happen at all. And then thirdly, and this is, I think, the message where I wanted to end with, and I had some discussions with Marion in the beginning of the evening, like, like, what does this country need? Like, we have so many talented people in Belgium, like our education level is extremely high, the knowledge we have, the products we're able to build are phenomenal. But still, if you ask anybody in the room, give me five or six scale-ups that manage to do a similar thing as Showpad, then you have to think a very long time. And that's wrong. Like that's something that we shouldn't allow in this country because we have the potential, but the one thing we're lacking is, is ambition and vision. Like the ability to think bigger, the ability to dream and actually execute. So those are the final words I wanted to leave you with. Build the next showpad, be bigger than us, and kick some ass. Thank you. Thank you.